lovelies, Abra here. Today I want to talk to you about seeds. Flax seeds, hemp seeds, and chia seeds. What are they? How do you use them? Should you use them? Should you eat them? If so, which ones? Let's break it down. Here we go. First, I want to talk about flax. So flax seeds have been around for centuries and they've been used medicinally for centuries. They're an excellent source of dietary fiber, potassium, magnesium, and other nutrients. What's great about flaxseed is their concentration of alpha linoleic acid, ALA, which is a really powerful anti-inflammatory. And due to the content of this of ALA in flax, they've been shown to help prevent heart disease and perhaps even reduce certain types of cancers. So from a medicinal standpoint or just sort of an overall health supportive standpoint, flax is a wonderful thing to add to your diet. You do want to grind flax seeds though. If you're not grinding them, you're pretty much going to digest them whole if you know what I mean. So grind flax seeds just a little bit at a time. I just grind them right in my coffee grinder and then keep it in the fridge and use it through the week. I sprinkle them on my yogurt. I use ground flax seeds in my baked goods quite a lot. I'll put a recipe below where I use some flax seeds. Sprinkle them on my yogurt. I put them in my smoothies, put them in my oatmeal. I use ground flax seeds pretty much across the board, lunch, breakfast, dinner, wherever I want to add them in. Okay. Next up is hemp seeds. So hemp, yes, hemp is from that same cannabis plant that marijuana comes from. However, sorry to report, but there is no active THC in hemp. So um, you're not going to get high from it. You're just going to get a good dose of nutrients. What's great about hemp is that it has all eight essential amino acids, which is quite uncommon for a plant, um, a plant product. So it's a great option for people on a plant-based diet to get some good protein in. What I really love about hemp is that it has a great flavor. So this is something that I have on hand. I actually typically carry around a little bag of hemp, a little bag like this of hemp seeds in my purse. I know it's kind of odd, but um, I like to sprinkle them on my salads and it gives me a little boost of energy. Also a great source of omega-3, omega-6, B vitamins, vitamin E. And additionally, hemp gives you a really creamy texture, which is nice. So for smoothies, sometimes I'll put two tablespoons of hemp and water as my liquid base and the hemp and the water blend up to make almost like a milky consistency. So that's hemp seeds, great source of protein, also great for anti-inflammatory. Moving right along to our final seed of the day, chia seeds. And chia seeds are very much the media baby as of late. Everyone loves a chia seed. All food companies are plopping chia seeds into every kind of food product you can imagine. For good reason. So they've been around for a long time. The Aztec warriors used to eat chia seeds before battle for endurance and strength. They are an excellent food for endurance athletes. And I typically, my clients that are endurance athletes, I recommend chia to give them that sort of extra punch during races or even trainings. Also, what's really cool about chia is that when they are added to liquid, they create this sort of gelatinous type of substance. They um, expand to twice their weight in liquid. So there are two things that happen when you put them in liquid. Number one, it's really hydrating for your system, which is, of course, a great thing. The other thing is that sort of gelatinous quality, that expansion, the same thing happens digestively and it helps you feel full longer. So for my weight loss clients, I do recommend chia seeds, specifically in the morning, stir it into some water, drink it down. It really helps sort of keep hunger at bay, which is really cool. Also an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, these essential fatty acids that help to reduce um, inflammation in your body. Very key, amazing. My favorite thing about chia is the recipes. So again below, you'll see a recipe for my chocolate chia apioca pudding. A little you know, twist on tapioca pudding because that's sort of what happens when chia is in liquid. It tastes a bit like a tapioca pearl. And this is an excellent way to consume chia seeds is to make this chia apioca pudding. I also use chia seeds in my coconut almond macaroon granola recipe, which is another really delicious one. Again, the recipe will be below. So those are all the wonderful ways that I use chia in my life and hemp seeds and flax seeds. You should have all three really in your kitchen cabinet and your arsenal and play with them and see which ones you like better and take stock. How do you feel when you're eating these different seeds? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below if you have a question or if you have a creative way that you use these seeds in your life. And I look forward to talking to you next time.